Hello, today is November 21st, 2019, and welcome to HTV News. I'm Lila Castro. And I'm Vivian Garcia, and here's what's going on at HHS. Hobart High School will be offering free I-STEP tutoring beginning this week. Students should sign up in the Media Center. Math I-STEP tutoring is on every Tuesday from 2.45 to 4 p.m. English I-STEP tutoring is on every Thursday from 2.45 to 4 p.m. as well. This is different from our Monday and Wednesday tutoring as it focuses specifically on I-STEP skills. Please note that we do not have bus transportation available for I-STEP tutoring. I-STEP tutoring will run on the schedule through November 26th. Key Club members applying to the state convention must have their applications and teacher recommendations turned in by Friday, November 22nd. There will be no tutoring on Wednesday, November 20th due to the extended school day schedule. Environmental Club will meet this Thursday, November 21st after school in Mrs. Merton's room. Brickey Cove Book, Book Club meets this Wednesday after school at 315. Please bring your books so Mrs. Lounges can return them to the public library. Brunch Club members wanting to spend the evening in Chicago need to pick up permission slips and get them turned in as soon as possible. Key Club will begin the annual Midsen Tree and Toy Drive next Wednesday. Please put all items by the tree outside of the Media Center beginning next Wednesday, November 27th. The Student Credit Union wants you to enter the drawing for a Kindle 8 with a qualifying deposit. This promotion runs through December and the winner will be announced before winter break. It only takes $1 to open up a new savings account. If you are a sophomore or junior and are interested in exploring classes at the Porter County Career Center, please attend the PCC Preview Day on December 3rd. Sign-up sheets and permission slips are available in the guidance office. Permission slips are due November 26th. <laughs> now over to Jonathan and Cameron for our sports updates. Congrats to our October Bricky Athletes of the Month, Grace Nestich, Nestich for girls soccer, Hannah Mathis for volleyball, Gigi Lefke for football, and Troy Brown for boys soccer. Way to go, Prickies! Last week, our Hobart football team won our first regional title since 1996. It was a powerhouse event with our Brickies coming out on top with a score of 36-7. to Way to go! Come out this Friday to East Noble as the Brickies take on the Knights for the semi-state championship. Back to you, Lilo. Thanks, Jonathan and Cameron. Seniors, this is what you have been waiting for. Career newsletters that have temporary and part-time jobs for high school students have been made. There are, many com there are many companies in Northwest Indiana that have full-time jobs for students that have graduated high school. We know that planning your future is very important to you, so together with the guidance department, we have composed a list of career-type jobs that we think you might be interested in. Many of them only require a high school diploma and pay more than minimum wage. Our goal is to bring awareness to the many career opportunities. Now over to Madison for what's, for what's trending on the web. Hello everyone, I'm your host Madison Santillan and here's what's currently happening on the internet. The Sonic trailer released once again, revealing the pleasing redesign for the iconic Speedy Blue Hedgehog, looking much better than the original nightmarish design. Take a look. Since 2019 is coming to an end, many are trying to decide what is the meme of the decade. I don't know about you, but 10 years worth of memes is a lot to sift through. This stray puppy named Narwhal was found roaming the streets in the cold by a rescue called Max Mission. He has an extra tail on his forehead and is getting so much love on the internet. I'd say he's an 11 out of 10 good boy. Not long after Halloween, many people bought assorted Starburst candy bags, only to discover there was nothing but pink in the packaging. Many have contacted the Starburst company via Twitter and other social media to get answers but their only response is that these people have some serious good luck, although some think it's a little more than luck that caused this to happen. Finally, these amazing new science photos showcase how beautiful things on Earth can really be. The Harvard researchers took photos of different organisms from the sea using high-tech power microscopes and technology that can render biological tissue transparent. That's all the news on the internet I have for you today. Thank you for tuning in. Have a wonderful day. Now over to Leela and Vivian. An important safety tip. Please use the sidewalks on the north side of 10th Street. This means you should safely cross 10th to get to the sidewalk. Community members are concerned and want to keep you safe, as do we. When you must be on the non-sidewalk side of 10th, be sure to use the bike lane and watch for traffic. That's it for this edition of HTV News. 
Make sure to like and subscribe to the Hobart High School Radio and TV channel. Remember, Remember only, only the best, best for HHS and have a fantastic, fantastic day, everyone. everyone.